Test Prep Video Log 1. If y'all think I should come up with a catchy name for these, feel free to let me know. But I feel like my channel's pretty straightforward most of the time, so I figured I'd just call these what they are for now. Starting macros for prep will be 65 grams of fat, 330 grams of carbs, 210 grams of protein. Um, at least 35 grams of fiber, which is usually no problem for me. So it's a pretty big drop for my off-season macros, a little over 600 calories dropped, but I was slightly above maintenance before, so it's nothing really extreme. tend to have a pretty adaptive metabolism, judging from previous contest preps, so I will be implementing refeeds from the very beginning. Those will be on Sundays, which will be a hit cardio day. Those days will be same protein, 210, 430 grams of carbs, 65 grams of fat. So protein and fat are the same, adding 100 grams of carbs. Um, and like I said, HIT will be on Sunday, so I'm doing HIT sessions twice per week, Wednesdays and Sundays on ideal weeks, but not always. I do have to make adjustments. My training is hopefully Monday and Tuesday, Thursday and Friday every week, but again, I have to make adjustments quite a bit. And for at least these first six weeks or so, I'm still going to be doing pretty much the same program for powerlifting since I'm competing in that meet on December 7th. So nothing will change there for now. I'm going to be working with somebody starting after the meet, and I'll have that announcement then, but I'm not going to announce that just yet. Um, length of prep, really not sure yet. I'm thinking probably May or June, giving myself quite a bit of time. I have 25 to 30 pounds to lose, um, giving myself more weeks than that to get ready. So if life happens, it won't matter much. I'll recover and have time to get to the level of conditioning that I want to get to before I compete. Um, also, on that same note, if I need to take a diet break, either for mental health or for physical health, metabolic stuff that I need to work on, then I will have time to do that. Um, still try to eat a lot of the same foods, but the low volume foods I've been eating, like Pop-Tarts and ice cream and kids cereal, stuff like that, they're going to be limited. Just for the sake of satiety. I don't want to be hungry all the time and thinking about cereal and ice cream and Pop-Tarts, so a lot of the time those will be replaced by things like oatmeal and popcorn, things like that. Low fiber bread, I mean high fiber bread. Um, yep. Alright, going through some posing here. After I did this, I realized that I forgot both front and rear lat spreads. But I'll go ahead and tell you that you're not missing much. My lats really don't spread from the back. When I attempt to do a rear, obviously when I attempt to do a rear lat spread, um, my lats tend to just rotate around my rib cage towards the front and kind of disappear. So I kind of have to fake the rear lat spread um, just the best that I can. It just It's never going to be a good pose for me. I've accepted that. I'll just keep doing my best to improve the things I can improve so anyway here's my posing feel free to critique my posing isn't perfect I'm a little rusty here too while we're going through the poses here I'll tell you a little bit more about my hit training today it was sprints you saw a peak of that at the very beginning of this I did uh, six sprints just like what you saw they were about 50 yards. I'm just using the light poles of that park as markers, so about 50 yards. And I did those at 90 to 95%. Six sprints with about two minutes in between. And then after that, I did down and back, so a total of 100 yards with only one minute in between. So the first six, more of a focus on speed, even though it may not look like it in the video. And then the last four, more of a focus on conditioning. And next time I do sprints, I plan to change the ratio to 5 to 5. 
than four to six the other way. So that's just something to think about while I'm sprinting so it doesn't just seem like I'm doing cardio. Just thought I'd clarify a little there. And my cardio consists of multiple exercises. I have access to a few different things. So I'll do my best to get video of any type of hit cardio I do. I guess that's all I've really got to say on this one. I think I've covered pretty much everything. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask them. And I'll try to answer those questions in the next contest prep vlog. I'll be posting these pretty frequently. If you're still watching, I appreciate it. Please like, share, and or subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this. I'll talk to you next time.